Laddering is one technique, however, that you may not hear as much uh, in some of the project management literature because it's used usually in specific cases, uh, usually in construction, where we have some tasks that are repetitive or almost operational in nature. I'm going to walk you through an example here of laying some pipe where we might have something that's going to reoccur uh, several times over during this process such as digging a ditch for the pipe to be in, laying the pipe, and then covering that ditch. But I will tell you that this technique was developed in the 1960s in Great Britain and is used a lot in many large construction projects like road construction, um, if you're building a series of housing uh, in a big development or something like that, where you may have reoccurring assignments that are going to have to happen over and over again in order to get the various tasks done. So let's walk through this example. Let's say that we have three miles of pipe that we need to lay. Well, obviously we need to dig the ditch uh, over that three mile span for our pipe to go into. We need to then come along and lay that three miles of pipe and then finally cover that ditch back up. However, uh, if we have a network diagram like this, you can see it's going to take quite a long time to go ahead and dig all three miles of that, then go in and lay all three miles of pipe, and then go and cover all three miles as well. Instead, if we break this down into smaller segments, let's say a mile each, we could have tasks that involve digging the first mile of ditch, the second mile, and the third, laying the first mile of pipe, the second and the third, and covering the first mile of ditch and the second and the third. What we can do then is we can have people working simultaneously on some of these tasks once we get going. So let's walk through how this works. First we're going to dig the first mile of ditch. Then we're going to dig the second mile of ditch while simultaneously laying pipe in the first mile of ditch. Then we'll move on to digging the third mile of ditch while our pipe layers are laying the second mile of ditch. And we have other folks now coming in from behind and covering up that first mile. We're all done with digging our ditches now. So we're going to be simultaneously laying the third mile of pipe while covering the second mile of ditch and then the only thing that is left remaining is to cover the third mile ditch. So you can see how this laddering allows us to significantly compress our time schedule and this is sometimes referred to as the ladder feed because you can see that once we kind of get going our tasks kind of get fed into it and uh, they get uh, completed in the sequence. We've done a relatively small example here, but you can imagine if you were instead laying pipe over 500 miles for a natural gas company, how this type of technique could allow you to have very uh, rapid progression of your project. So like I said, this is a, something that you don't see very often, uh, but you will see it in those places where we have uh, tasks that are reoccurringly assigned uh, within our project to get um, our various activities completed. So hopefully that provides you with a good overview in case you do encounter it.